I was still working, car mechanic, uh, extremely overweight, not a worry in the world, you know. Uh, came home, sitting on the couch, I started feeling extreme jaw pain and waited for my wife to arrive. She came home and saw me on the couch. I asked her if she could drive me to the hospital. She said no, and she actually called 911. And after they put him in the ambulance, he actually had a cardiac arrest. His heart stopped. They started chest compressions on him. His survival at that point goes way down. Ralph came into the ER on July 28, 2010. Uh, and Dr. Shiner was the doctor running his resuscitation again, doing the typical chest compressions and airway maneuvers, drugs, shocks, the things you've seen on TV. Nothing was working, and I happened to be in the room assisting him, and he'd gone 30 minutes of CPR, and then 40 minutes of CPR, and then 60 minutes of CPR, and now we're reaching that 60 minute point where his brain's not gonna be perfused anymore. And so the question was, can we institute this VA ECMO in, in Ralph? And so in our hospital, we had this device, ECMO machine, that was being utilized up in the ORs and in our ICUs for patients that had cardiac problems, patients that had circulatory problems. And so we started thinking, hey, maybe we can use this in the ED. And the problem with a lot of causes of cardiac arrest, including pulmonary embolism or a heart attack or a metabolic disturbance, is that it often takes a bit of time from the time of diagnosis to the place that gets them fixed. And the problem there is that traditional chest compression CPR only gives us about 60 minutes max to keep perfusion to the brain or a patient ends up brain dead. So what VA ECMO, veno arterial ECMO does, is it allows us to put a patient on a heart-lung bypass machine to take them from the beginning of their arrest to the so solution to the problem and buys us all that time because we are now bypassing the heart and the lungs. And that's the beauty of this. And that was July 28, 2010, which was the beginning of what has now become a fairly remarkable uh, emergency department ECMO program, which we started here at Sharp Memorial. In these last 10 years, we have had a whirlwind of excitement over what we've done. We published the first case report for ED ECMO with Ralph. We then uh, published our first case series, uh, which showed five out of our first nine patients walking out of the hospital in an expected survival of you know, less than 1%. 55% is, is really un unbelievable. And uh, n now, as I understand it, I believe there are 13 uh, ED ECMO centers around the country, and then there are several ED ECMO centers that are able to do this in Australia and Asia and, and Europe. Uh, and then from just the standpoint of being involved with something that is bigger than yourself, something that is outside of even San Diego, uh, for me it's been hugely rewarding. You know, it was a good experience at Sharp, but it was, it's also given us an extra 10 years that we wouldn't have had that day. Yeah. You know, it's 10 years of watching our grandsons. Yeah. So we, we both have been blessed to be uh, with Sharp. And that we've gotten a chance to see what innovative things are out there for helping people. And that he was at the beginning of that.